Hey everybody, this is Intuitive Anthony doing another social media video. Um, if you guys want to donate to the channel, the Cash App information is down below on the screen. It's also in the description box. I got tongue tied a bit. This is for my chosen ones, guys. I make videos for my chosen ones to help us navigate life through narcissistic abuse and staying away from narcissistic people. Um, they are going insane about you. All the people that the narcissist invoked, all these flying monkeys and minions to do their work and do their bidding for them, are going insane, are, back, are, are fighting with each other. They're conflicted because some of them didn't know what the situation was and feel betrayed by the narcissist. Um, other ones are realizing that they keep going up against a formidable foe, somebody who ain't backing down, somebody who can't be destroyed. Time after time after time after all of these works of dark magic and things like that and all the pressure that they're putting on you, coming at you from all sides, trying to intimidate you, they're gang stalking, harassing, nagging you, just really annoying the piss out of you, figuring that it's going to make you backtrack. But the secret of it is, is that even if you did backtrack, they ain't going to leave you alone. Because their life, you you revolve, you are the center focus of their life. Without you, they got nothing else to focus on. Look, think about it. Are they trying to achieve great things in the world? Are they trying to be a good parent, a good grandparent? Or trying to accomplish getting a house, or a nice car, or birthdays for the kids, grandkids, doing these events and stuff like that, to make anybody's life better but their own? No, they're not. So even if you back off, which I would not suggest you do because God needs you to speak up. But even if you backed off, they ain't going to stop harassing you because you are their entertainment. Their whole prize, the old, the old dollar signs in their eyes is to see if they can get you to, to be destroyed or to destroy yourself. So I wouldn't back down because they ain't going to let up. That's why I said in a previous video, guys, check out the channel. Enjoy the fight. But if you have not subscribed, guys, please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate the subscribes, guys. And if you can donate, you don't have to. But if you if you can, the cash app information is down below, guys. But they're going insane fighting with each other. All of these people that the narcissist has used to try to make your life a living hell, some of them are like, I don't know what you're talking about with this person. This person does not seem to be what you claim they are. Um, And they're not going down without a fight. This ain't easy. This ain't. This is not like. This person ain't weak. This person is not mousy by no means. So something's got to give here. Um, and they fighting with each other, because it's a lot. It's another thing to keep putting in work on a project and not seeing any results, which is what they are frustrated with you about, because they're working on you and working on you and they ain't getting no results, and it's starting to get to them. Now, if my source in a situation, somebody that you've cut off and went no contact with, um, and you left them alone, they've already been left behind once. They better hope their ass ain't getting left behind for a second time. And you know the second time I'm talking about the big left behind. Not the movie, the real situation. Because see, these people have a mental illness as well as demons and everything else. But this is not something that just befell upon them. They actually made this deal. In their heart of hearts, they allowed that demon to trick them into it, whether mentally or through the heart, one way or the other. The demon convinced them that they can make their lives better. But if you look at their lives and the fruit that they're, that the fruit, fruit they're producing, does it look better to you? It don't look better to me. And they know that too. So that's why they work so hard to take people with great potential. They want to tear them down because if I'm not nothing, you ain't nothing. And so the best thing you can do to teach them is by being the best version of yourself you can be. That's how you get them. Because every time they look at you, they're going to realize all the missed opportunities that they did in their life. That they should have never made that devil deal. But it's not your job to save them. They got to go to God for that. And God ain't going to just let them skate on by. They're going to have to prove they worth. Because they spent so many years doing so much wicked. Intentionally. That it's up to God whether or not he allows them back in or not.
That is for him to decide. But they've already been left behind once by you and probably several other people that say, we want no more to do with this. We want no part of this. They've already been left behind before, but they got the, the, the last time getting left behind is going to be way worse, way worse. I'm talking biblically worse. So if they didn't learn nothing from the first time they got left behind, they better learn it before the second time. They know who you are. I mean, they may have doubted it before when they was giving you the business and running around doing whatever they could do. But now that you started speaking your truth and they see that people are responding to you, I have about three, over 300,000 views on my channel. Thank you so much to everybody who has stood by and supported me through all of this. But they know who you are now because other people in the world are starting to notice. And see, these people don't think for themselves, so they follow what the world tells them. But, but God can work through the world as well. He wants us to be in the world, but not of the world. But God will bring the people to you. And other people that are around him are starting to notice that something's up. This is a special person. So they know. I'm pretty sure they heard about it. And they're dismissive at the same time. But in their heart of hearts, they know they done picked the wrong one. Because if they ain't going to stop, I'm not going to stop. And that's the way you got to be too, guys. Don't ever give up the fight. Trust me, the fight is, is very much worth it. And one, another thing, they secretly kind of impressed with you because they've been able to knock so many people off their pedestal but for far less than what they have to go through to try to get you. Yeah. They're secretly impressed with you. Oh, they'll never admit it or tell anybody else. But they're watching you in amazement like, dang, I didn't realize they had this much fight in them. Where was all this fight when, when I was giving them the business? No, because we tried to see good in everybody. And sometimes when the table is stacked against you because you're on their court in their hometown, with all of their flunkies around them, you got to play the hand you're given. You got to know when the, you got to know which battles to pick, which ones to hold, and which ones to fold. Oh, but now we now now it's time. Now it's time. Now it's definitely time. But they kind of impressed with you. Like, damn, they ain't giving up at all. Oh no, because we fighting for the kingdom. We are fighting for the kingdom. Your kingdom, I don't give a damn about. I don't give a damn about, but mine, I'm fighting for mine. I'm fighting for the kingdom I want to go to because ain't none of us in this life of peace. We are not in here for peace. So every day you get up and you put on the whole armor of God and you go, of God and you go out there in the world and you face whatever the world has to give you. And you got to remember that the enemy runs this world. So you take everything with a grain of salt. Don't give anybody more credit than they deserve. And you judge a person's fruit before you go ahead and allow them into a space where they can sabotage you. Yeah, but they kind of impressed. They're like, damn, we got rid of people for far less than this. They really got some fight in them. Oh, yeah, and I'm going to keep on fighting. I'm going to keep on fighting. My God sacrificed for me, so I'm going to sacrifice for my God. They God ain't, did, ain't sacrificed for nobody. Ain't even think about them. Boy, did you pick the wrong horse. But, guys, I wanted to come up with this video for you guys. Um... I'll be back with more content. I'm always coming out with content, guys. Thank you for supporting the channel. If you want to donate, please do. Um, the cash app information is down on the screen. Also in the description box, guys. Um, if you like it, I love it. But remember, with these knocks, let's be cold-blooded, guys. I'll talk to you again, guys. Peace.